Hello and welcome. Good to have you with us this Sunday evening. I'm Afrida Rahman Ali. Well, after the union government announced its decision to criminalize instantaneous triple talaq in Muslim marriages, opinion is now divided, viewers, not just within the political circles, but also within the community on whether this law was even necessary. Let's listen in. So the issue of triple talaq has nothing to do with faith or mode of worship or religion. It is a pure issue of gender justice. After union government announced its decision to criminalize instantaneous triple talaq in Muslim marriages, certain women activists and supporters of the All India Muslim Personal Law Board took out a protest against the ordinance describing the move as a political stunt. This ordinance today बीजेपी मोदी गवर्नमेंट ला रही है ये मुस्लिम खवातीन के खिलाफ है द रेजोल्यूशन लाइज इन डायलॉग एंड दैट डायलॉग हैज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर इन दिस बिल दे हैव कंप्लीटली डन अवे विद द डायलॉग लीडर्स ऑफ द कम्युनिटी आर आल्सो स्केप्टिकल दैट द लॉ विल नॉट बी एप्लीकेबल एंड पीपल विल नॉट फॉलो इट तलाक के साथ ये गोया के इस किस्म के अल्फाज या ऑर्डिनेंस जारी करके मुसलमानों पर दबाव का की शक्ल वो बनाना चाहते हैं तो मुसलमान इससे पीछे नहीं हटे However, who took up the cudgels to fight this discriminatory practice hails the law as one that will empower Muslim women and protect their rights within the marriage. Muslim women want legal protection they are entitled to legal protection by the by law by the constitution unfortunately this law is now uh, being brought about through the ordinance route but we welcome the law uh, whole heart so today mira now asks will the law protect muslim women's rights why is the community divided over it let's debate Well, so after the Supreme Court already made instantaneous triple talaq illegal, was it necessary to bring in a law? That is the primary question here, and that is the question on which the community is divided. So uh, today, the focus would be, of course, to understand this entire issue from within the community, and therefore, I have women. Muslim women here are on the panel with me who are also important voices and I want to understand from them because the opinion is divided among the community among Muslim women as well and of course we will also have neutral observers let me introduce my guests today Shazia Ilmi spokesperson of the BJP Flavia Agnes women's rights activist lawyer and director of Majlis Center for Women also Shaista Ambar who is a women's rights activist and on the show will be major mohammad ali shah he's the only male voice a citizen voice and uh, he will of course bring us uh, the perspective uh, from the man's point of view but first i want to put this question to shazia ilmi shazia ilmi the primary question here the supreme court has already made instantaneous triple talaq an illegal practice after it has done so what was the tearing hurry for the government to bypass parliament to come up with this ordinance when the parliament is not in session what is the need for a law when something is already illegal in this country okay so let me uh, well thank you so much for uh, inviting me to be a part of this discussion first of all um, supreme court not just called it uh, illegal hmm. and unlawful but also directed the center to make a legislation to ensure that this comes this law comes into effect to give legal ammunition to women so that they can fight it also in the court and have a legal statutory provision this was directed by supreme court so if you hear the supreme court version you will know that if you okay. read the supreme court verdict you will know that in more detail mm -hmm. to even after the supreme court after the supreme court hearing and his direction to make a law by supreme court and 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 calling this entire uh, e practice as completely unlawful and unfair even mm. from the point of view of quran mm. and from the point of constitution mm. even then these kind of oral uh, verbally given divorces continue to happen and there were so many instances where right. women fighting um, mm. for their right and fighting mm. this triple talaq or talaq e biddat mm. got not just thrown out of the houses 
but hmm. the local imams actually said that nobody would even attend the funeral no they would be socially ostracized hmm. which is why it was important for for the for the parliament to listen to court one thing hmm. to obey what the court was saying and also to provide these women with some kind of legal ammunition hmm. some kind of legal comfort within yes. the law just like there is in dowry dowry or un- untouchability or domestic violence hmm. to have a law in place which which they can actually but shahzra in me when it comes to the party that you belong to when it comes to the bjp i'm sure you're aware that there is a lot of suspicion within the community i mean you're talking about empowering muslim women where is the political empowerment how many tickets do you give to muslim candidates look at the illiteracy rate i mean there is this very strong argument i'm afraid flavia is not connected with us right now but let me put in this uh, point from from the other side that you know uh, you have not empowered muslim women the no, illiteracy no, and education i can, hear you. Is, I can no, no. hear you very well no no i was talking about no, no, no. flavia i, can hear I was you. talking about I can flavia hear you very is well not connected and i can hear you very I well i know i know you can hear me i was talking about flavia not being connected i was saying flavia. that uh you know if muslim women are not empowered through education and illiteracy you have jumped the gun and of course are gone in to bring this of course it's important to do away with this regressive practice but my point is had you focused on empowering them through education look at the illiteracy rate perhaps these issues would have resolved itself but there your focus is completely not there shazia shazia yes yes i was asking you that you know uh, why don't you empower well, in terms of political empowerment and education as well i don't know who you, who you're talking to shazia help me please respond No, obviously you don't know your uh, yeah obviously you don't know your facts because it is only the bjp government which has actually talked about scholarships to muslim girls and is giving them uh, scholarships and even money for those women who will continue with their ma uh, education this question that you are answering should be asked of in fact other parties who have done nothing for muslim women and girl child so to speak and now the coverage for for education for muslim girls is also going up because overall there is more uh, uh, incentives given to to hmm. educate the girl child which includes the muslim women and you know instead of muslim women fighting elections i think it's so important for them to have a lead to first have a basic life of dignity and not to be thrown on the streets begging for arms hmm. which this is exactly what they've been doing for years so hmm. this becomes a very convenient argument not to look at uh, what is important so only when a woman feels uh, not just to be socially empowered socially accepted can she ever be politically empowered surely you give her a basic right to dignity in the first place okay. and also you're talking about what bjp has done let me tell you some of the most big, the biggest number of beneficiaries is from ujjwala yojana which is many of our muslim sisters so right. many of our muslim sisters in fact they praised the prime minister in kashmir if you saw that man ki baat where they actually said thank you for the lpgs because we were suffering so hmm. i think when overall this there, there there's emphasis on women um, uh, hmm. getting more power and coming into the mainstream even our right. muslim sisters benefit and so this was done by bjp this was done by let shara banu if the community is convinced by what you have just said I have with me in the studio Major Muhammad Ali Shah. He's he's a citizen's voice today. Uh, welcome to Mirror Now, uh, Ali. I want to ask you that uh, Shahzad Almi here tells us that it's not just that the government is focusing on removing irreg- regressive practices. The focus is on education. The focus is on eradicating illiteracy as well. But how convinced are you that this ordinance? was necessary considering that the supreme court had already made the instantaneous triple talaq an illegal practice was it important to bring an ordinance and to give it the force of law as shazia puts it well uh, the triple talaq was uh, enacted by hazrat umar as we all know because it was a need of that hour about 1300 years back today when the supreme court has already declared it illegal there is absolutely no requirement for an ordinance to be passed and for guys to go in for 3 years in jail and then give maintenance to their wives how can okay. a person pay maintenance when he's in jail for 3 years and there right. absolutely no requirement i think it should be opposed not only by the muslim community by humanity i mean it is i consider it ridiculous 
Okay. Shaista Ambar, do you agree with uh, Alisha? Because I know that you've been fighting for Muslim uh, women, especially victims of triple talaq. You have been working with them. Where do you stand on this? आप कहा आप क्या बोलेंगे आप हिंदी में बोल सकते हैं आपकी क्या राय है मैं आपका शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ कि आपने मेरे व्यूज लिए और मुझे इस डिबेट में हिस्सा लेने दिया और सुप्रीम कोर्ट का मैं शुक्रिया अदा करूंगी जो एक हिस्टोरिकल डिसीजन आया तीन तलाक बैन का ये एक ऐतिहासिक है इससे हमारी औरतों को काफी सपोर्ट भी मिला और काफी उम्मीदें भी उनकी आई बढ़ी है और इस इस कानून को मैं स्वागत तो करती हूँ लेकिन कुछ अमेंडमेंट के साथ जैसे अभी रविशंकर प्रसाद जी जो हमारे देश के प्रदेश सरकार के कानून मंत्री हैं उन्हीं ने बहुत सारे अच्छे फैसले किए हैं कि ट्रिपल तलाक को लेकर के लेकिन इसमें कुछ चीजों में हम लोगों का सुझाव होना बहुत जरूरी है जैसे पति अगर तलाक देता है तो अब तक ये होता आया है कि वो लड़की जिस जो तलाक शुदा है वो माँ बाप के और या भाई के लिए एक बोझ की तरह हो जाती है कि वो अपने अपने माँ बाप के लिए परिवार चलाए कि वो अपने बच्चों को चलाए तो अगर वही स्थिति जब शौहर चला जाएगा जेल तो फिर वो भी वही स्थिति फिर माँ बाप के पास जाएगी तो फिर इस तलाक बिल से फायदा क्या हुआ जेल में तो उसको रोटी मिल रही है लेकिन इस औरत को फिर माँ बाप के पास वही बैठना पड़ा तो ये तलाक के लिए मेरी एक सुझाव है कि गवर्नमेंट या तो उसका पूरा उसके इंतजाम करे उसके घर का और उसके रहने का उसके खाने पीने का बच्चों की शिक्षा का या तो उसको मौका दे सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने जब बैन किया है जी जी बैन माना जाए जी शाजिया आप इस पे क्या कहेंगे लेट शाजिया रिस्पॉन्ड टू दिस बिकॉज़ बोथ अली शाह एंड शाजिया हैज रेज दिस इशू यस आई गॉट योर पॉइंट आपकी बात मैं समझ गई सो यू नो वन ऑफ द पॉइंट्स दैट हैव बीन रेज्ड इज दैट व्हाट हैपेंस टू द मेंटेनेंस इशू यू हैव प्रोनाउंस्ड अ जेल टर्म ऑफ 3 इयर्स फॉर द ऑफेंडर हस्बैंड इफ ही डिवोर्सेस हिज वाइफ थ्रू इंसिडेंटस तलाक but what happens to sustaining the woman there is nothing in those three point amendments that your uh, minister announced that addresses the issue of sustenance shazia no no in fact you haven't obviously read the uh, read the ordinance very well because the whole issue of maintenance is being talked about that the husband whatever and magistrate will decide that so if a woman if she if she goes to the court and she tells a magistrate that my husband wants to reconcile then she can have a marriage back no, you're talking you're, you're taking it to the, the reconciliation process but what if she doesn't sentence. want to reconcile no i want to know please enlighten us since you said that we were not aware no, of the provisions of the woman, ordinance no, no, what exactly is the provision for maintenance for the, the abandoned woman no 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 yeah. you're not aware of it i'll tell you hmm. no i want to uh, yeah i want to ask you when a woman is thrown on the streets and hmm. discarded while hmm. a man remarries how does she sustain herself then So don't you think when a man is doing this to her she has every right to go to court and 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 use this as a deterrent I think something different will happen I think men will not divorce women because they do not want to go to jail instead I of thinking about what will happen right. to the man and hmm. how shall by that logic if you think about it no man should go to jail no 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 let me finish by that logic hmm. you should not have any punishment for men but what will the wives do Okay. Uh, but for that logic, let's let's for the sake of our viewers, Shazia, since, since you brought up this point, yeah, कुछ करे. Yes. आप जेल भेज ही नहीं सकते उसकी बीवी को क्या होगा? जी. And I want to correct Charlie also because he said that Hazrat Umar के वक्त में it was a need of the hour. There was no need of the hour. It was considered all right along with forty lashes. But in India, we can't have forty lashes because we don't have Sharia Shali. Hmm. You should know what Hazrat Umar said. Ji, Shazia, I would just want for the sake of our viewers But to, to make a to point happen, here. But if this should get forty lashes, ji, so forty lashes will translate as a sentence in jail. That was the whole idea. That is okay, I but there is already an existing law, Shazia. Too. There is already an existing law in the Indian Penal Code that applies to everybody, and Muslim men should not be above that law. Uh, which there is a, a domestic violence That, act. There are yeah, provisions. Yeah, but, but if you know, if you know about Shara Bano, yeah, yes. I know about the existing law, which was not enough, which is why all the Muslim women went to the courts. Okay. If you read Shara Bano and all the seven or eight women who went to different courts, mm -hmm. this provision was not working. So you therefore, you brought in another provision. How will that help? Let Alisha respond. Let okay. Alisha okay. respond. You had a point. That was also not enough. Shazia, uh, very well spoken. I would like to say that firstly, there's a difference between a triple talaq and what is misunderstood as an instant talaq. Triple talaq does not mean you three times you have been talaq, talaq, talaq. Bold the or khatam kahani. No, 
it is it spans over a three a period of three months. There's a process behind it. It's not just that what people misunderstand because of movies and you're media. Very how people we're mis- talking about Tripathala. Secondly, Talaq-e-Biddat. listen, there's no point arguing because you don't know what we're talking about. We are no. talking about Talaq e Biddat. We are talking about Talaq e Biddat. Okay, not Talaq e Hasan or Hasan. I want to tell you that the ancient Talaq system is a very regressive practice. And I have all the respect and concern for women. I have two sisters elder to me. My wife is more qualified than me. So let me tell you one more thing that I am totally against the Arey, instant he, talaq. Jo log sochte hain ki ek bar bol diya to kahani wahan khatam. That is many, totally many regressive. Not as and the society you are. will your, as, go as nowhere with that. Is, Secondly, I am talking. I am really in favor of the Supreme Court ruling. I think it made a lot of sense. It's more than welcome, in fact. But the ordinance ki kya zarurat thi? Aap ye bataiye mere ko ki ab teen saal ki saza de rahe hain unko. But Supreme Court itself has said there has to be a law. It is illegal. No. It is not valid. But Supreme I mean, Court ne khud hi kaha hai. Bhai aap pal. Boliye, boliye. No, basically, uh, Ali, but Supreme uh, Ali Court Ali itself has said there has to be a law no in place, uh, Shali. No, and no. the divorces okay, continue to happen. Look, it's not valid. If you say it, the Supreme Court has given it. It's not valid. It's illegal. Now you are giving them three years. Let me explain this point what Alisha is trying to make. That when you have made a, a practice illegal, it is null and void. Therefore, how do you prosecute a person for committing a crime under something exactly. that is already null and void? Do That's you have an point. explanation? This is a question which a common person will ask, Shazia. Okay, I'll in, in the interim period I'll say something. Sh- Sh- Shazia, if you can hear me, this Lord, I, I was just. No, one second, one second, Ali. Let me let Shazia respond to this because this is how I want to phrase no, the see, question here. No, there is no here. point arguing. See, see, see. We, yeah, so I'm not arguing. Having a healthy debate, Shazia, you can. We, yes. we, we respect your opinion. Yeah, Go yeah, ahead, please. Yeah, can you come again, please? Yes, let me get in Fla- Flavia Agnes on the but phone line. No, Shazia, ji, you stop. I'm coming to you. I have to ask Flavia Agnes to ask a question here. Flavia Agnes ji, we have Shazia Elmi, spokesperson of the BJP, trying to tell us here that it was not enough for Supreme Court to just make the practice of triple talaq illegal because for such a thing to seep into the society would not happen immediately. Women are not empowered enough. They require the force of law because they need to go to the police station with a complaint and that can only happen if you have a provision under the Indian Penal Code. That, as I understand, is Shazia's point. How would you respond to that, Flavia Agnes? I don't think women just rush to the police and file a complaint. Yeah, so that's the point. This Flavia, is, Flavia uh, Agnes, please. Yes. Uh, this is a misconception. We have seen it in anti dowry law. Mm. We have seen it in Section 490E. <clears throat> women, poor women in particular, do not mm. run to police station to file a complaint against their husband. Now, what we need is for women for civil remedies. Everything that Shazia Ilmi talked about, or Shazia Sambar talked about, there are already remedies in law. Yes. There are these are remedies for every mm-hmm. woman, not just Muslim woman. When a okay. woman is deserted, when she's thrown out, when her children are snatched away from her, when she's not giving maintenance, these are universal problems and all women are subjected to this, not just Muslim women. Now, okay. here, now with the criminalization of civil talaq happens, mm. you are going to have this immediate remedy uh, till the child is over. The, right. the woman has to go to an entire criminal trial and only then the court will decide whether the husband has to be punished for three years or not. Mm-hmm. Now, in such a situation, how will this woman live? Whereas in the Domestic Violence Act, the act is supposed to come up in the court every week. Right. It is an expeditious act. It's right. a time-bound uh, 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 period yes. that is already stipulated. There's provision for right. interim maintenance. Now, you want to take women out of this? So let me, uh, let, I just Catherine have time for closing comments the and therefore let me once again summarize what Flavia Agnes also perhaps says that nobody is disputing here that this is a regressive, discriminatory, patriarchal practice that needs to go. So triple talaq was made illegal, that was largely welcomed by the community and everyone across board. The problem arose because you have decided now to make it a punishable offence. And that too there are disparities because for abandonment of a wife by a Muslim man, your punishment is three years. But as per the existing law, you have a punishment of one year. So that kind of, again, you know, a disparity among the citizens in the country is something that people will question you. Closing comments, Shazia Elmi.
So uh, this is the maximum punishment that we're talking about. I think this law will actually save marriages. Because if man who's a, who's actually abandoning the woman by saying talaq 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 hmm. will fear going to jail and will the talaq which was irrevocable Chaudhary, will now become revocable. Wait, I don't think anyone says and those people are just saying that they're taking the marriage back. Let me finish. 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 Please. Let me finish. So the point that I wanted to make and let me repeat again because somebody broke my thoughts. So, uh, so if a woman is up to the magistrate to grant bail, so mm. first of all, it's a, it's not a bailable offence. It is not bail. I mean, it is a non-bailable offence. So there is no question of it's bailable. So it's not that the man will be thrown into the jail immediately. The woman has access to the court, and mm. she can say that my husband wants to come back, and the fear of going to jail will deter a man. Okay. And what was irrevocable will mm. now become revocable, and the man will say, no, no, so no. So you I are never saying you have say created a deterrent to live with the wife right. instead of throwing her out on streets okay. where she have no. So you are saying first it was That's made illegal and therefore yes. your government has created a strong enough deterrent and thereby empowered women. Alisha, I want to also bring out one point that you made that the, yes. the question on the question of triple talaq, instantaneous triple talaq is not there in the Quran. And Absolutely. based on that fact is why the Supreme Court said that this practice cannot be given a legal sanctity because it does not have, it is not an integral part of this religion uh, and since it's not part of the Quran, I think that's what you were trying to exactly, say. Exactly, yes. Now your closing comments very quickly before I go to well, Shaisa. I would say that, you know, you, it was welcomed by the community, by everyone when the Supreme Court gave a ruling. But the moment you bring this audience, ki teen saal ki saza hoegi, for big crimes, for rape, these are to get convicted is a problem. Then a trial happens, and then you get punished. Hogi. One sec, one sec. I'm giving an example. I'm giving a very small example here. I'm giving a very small example. Just, just an example. आपने चोरी कर ली, कुछ भी कर लिया, उसकी सजा आपको कम मिलेगी. लेकिन इस बात पे आई मीन इट्स सेफ मैरिज आई थिंक इट्स रादर सेफ मैरिज बाय डिक्लेरिंग इट इलीगल एस इंप्लाइड नॉट अ वॉइड अगर आपने तलाक 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 बोल दिया वो वैलिड ही नहीं है आपकी शादी वहीं बच गई आप अगर उसको सजा दोगे और तीन साल आप मेंटेनेंस की उम्मीद भी करोगे दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज़ फ्रॉम वेयर विल द वुमेन सरवाइव you are talking about how will the right. woman survive how will she survive when the husband is not in a position that to give her maintenance they were the going now so raising for arms uh, shah mm. are you feeding all the women who are on the streets where Listen, who, I, who is I taking care of all the abandoned women i whenever there is a family feeding i am always called there to support you and your family you brought up one second one second one second since you brought up shara shabano let me bring this him. point here that we are actually back to square one because at that time also the issue was raised whether executive can interfere in religious matters and today we have come back to the same issue once again after all these years shaista amber closing comments please shaista ji yes and and this government has been with the side Take of the supreme women, court ke faisle isiliye aaye taki auraton ka moral jhootha mazboot ho jaye kyunki ab tak talaq shuda auraton ki kisi bhi is sanstha ne khabar nahi liya tha na maulana ne liya na darul qaza ne liya ki ye talaq shuda auraton ka kya saal mein hai unke maa baap ne ya bhai ne unki parwah kiya फैमिली कोर्ट में धक्के खा रही कचहरी में धक्के खा रही हैं, दारुल कजा में धक्के खा रही हैं। अब जब सरकार ने उनकी फिक्र किया है तो मैं चाहती हूँ कि ये ये एक ऐसा बिल आए जो एक ऐतिहासिक भी हो और परिवार को जोड़ने का काम करे अगर कोई भी लड़की को अगर आप मजिस्ट्रेट के हर वाले करेंगे कि ये इसके मेंटेनेंस का खर्चा करे तो क्या वो क्या वो किसी शेल्टर होम में डालेंगे जो आजकल शेल्टर होम अयाशी का अड्डा बन गया है आखिर ये तलाक पीड़ित औरतों की एक मजबूत गारंटी होनी चाहिए कि अगर शोहर ने क्या जो जुर्म किया है उस जुर्म की सुलह होगी कि नहीं मैं चाहती हूं कि इसके सुलह के रास्ते हो ये तलाक ये बिल जो आए इसमें परिवार को जोड़ने और सुलह करने में ज्यादा बेहतर है बनिस्बत जेल के क्योंकि जो भी एक घंटे के लिए भी अगर पुलिस ने उसको पकड़ा और जेल गया तो वो परिवार जुड़ेगा नहीं बल्कि सुलह नहीं हो पाएगी तो इसलिए हम चाहते हैं कि अगर कोई पति जिद कर रहा है वो कुरान की सूर्य तलाक की फॉलो नहीं कर रहा है और तीन तलाक बहन को फॉलो नहीं कर रहा है और right. तलाक बिद right. को ही मान रहा है तलाक एहसन और हसन को प्रैक्टिस में नहीं ले रहा है तो उसको सजा हो well, लेकिन ओके सो देयर इज अ लार्जर कंसेंसस दैट दिस इज अ प्रैक्टिस वी डू नॉट वांट इन अ सिविलाइज्ड कंट्री लाइक आवर्स 22 मुस्लिम कंट्रीज 
or had already banned this practice why should india be left behind it is time we do away with this archaic practice completely no disputing that but is it going to be a deterrent now with triple talaq being made a punishable offense or will it become a tool to further oppress uh, a certain community all those questions remain I thank my viewers for joining us and I thank uh, my panelists Shazia Ilmi, Shaista Ambar and Flavia Agnes for joining us with your views. Thanks for watching.